Hello, hello YouTube. Welcome back to another video. We are here with a pretty much deluxe album to JPEG Mafia and Danny Brown's album they dropped earlier this year. Scaring the Hose, the DLC pack. It's like a mini uh, EP of tracks that pretty much didn't make the album. Um, really excited about this. Obviously, I love the original and you guys are showing fantastic support in that video still to this day and I really appreciate you guys. But we're going to be listening to four tracks. Obviously, this is going to be a shorter video. It's only 15 minutes of music. Um, I would say this is going to be an eight or nine minute video. You know, I do outros. I do reviews and stuff of the album. So I'm really excited. We get some pretty good music in between, you know, guys like Ken Carson and Travis Scott dropping. So we can actually have a edited video for the week. Uh, I'm trying to up the content, guys, for sure. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have much to say. Twitter's obviously been raving about this album. If you guys have seen the reviews, you know, but... Let's get into the tracks, I guess. Track one is Guess What, Bitch, We Back Ho, with an exclamation point. Obviously, the album or the title for the songs on the original album were crazy. It's going to be crazy here, so let's go. Oh! The Sandy sample at the beginning? This slaps, bro. Guess what, Bitch, We Back Ho. This is like a slapper, bro. This is such an interesting beat. Uh, it sounds kind of like Step a Pig a little bit. All the instruments are like warped. It's crazy. The fucking SpongeBob samples are funny as hell. It's got a little bit of lean beef patty sound to it with the loops. This is a transition. I love like the scratchiness at the beginning of every track. I think that's fucking funny as hell. But um, man, okay. That was an interesting track. Again, like I said, it has like a mix of lean beef patty. It has a mix of like step a pig in it. There's a lot about this album. I mean, the album art is fucking crazy. My dog's in the back. Um, the album art is crazy. Um, there's a baby keem disc. Let's just move on. I've already wasted enough time. Track two is Hermanos. Let's go. That was a very awkward long scratch. He takes every sample of talking about JPEGs. It's funny. Oh shit. Dude, I gotta go clean up my dog's sh shit. It fucking stinks. I'll be back. Hold up. I'll be fucking back. I gotta make another recording. Alright, we can continue this song. My dog legit just took a fucking massive one. Like a fucking diarrhea everywhere. Let's go. Let's keep going with the hermanos though. This beat is crazy. This bro, what? Peggy's crazy, dude. Whoa! JPEG's going wild on these lyrics right now. Okay. I'm just enjoying this instrumental. It's a beat switch? What the fuck? That's a crazy loop, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry for the voice crack. Wow, man. That was pretty crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. JPEG's rapping, you know, some of the loops on the track. Wow, very impressive stuff there. Um, would I say it's better than some of the tracks in Scared the Hose? Honestly, no. I really like those records, but that was still fucking hella impressive. Showed a lot of skill. You know, JPEG did complete beat switch with no rapping on the end. Just flexing how good of a producer he is. So, let's move on to the next track. With this next track, track number three, we have Tell Me Where to Go. Let's go. Okay, every track starts with like a tape scratch. I think that's awesome. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. I can already tell. Oh, it's Danny Brown's like dark vo deep voice. Okay. Ooh, that soul sample? This is so well produced. Okay, is JPEG about to show up? Ooh, here's JPEG. Black Tar is wild. There's that uh, ending again. That's funny. All right, um. That was a nice and chill track, and one thing I took from that is, like, it's like the one normal song on this entire album. Even, like, the original Scary in the Hose. There's not really a normal song on there. I think this one was genuinely, like, a normal mellowed out, possibly like a Mick Jenkins type of song. But, yeah, I really enjoyed that. That was really good. Let's move on to the final track. Let's see. How many times does it say no? No, 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 no. No, 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 
Is this he going? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's like the title of the next track. It just like keeps going. Like, holy shit, how many times did they put this on the fucking track? This is the longest track in fucking Apple, history, Apple music history. Let's fucking go. We finally got to the end of it. Let's go. Mm, it's like some Chance the Rapper shit? Says the Baby King bar. Mmm, okay. This beat is wow. Shout out to pistachios. These are just so fucking good. Oh shit, Danny. This should have been a damn posse cup. What other rappers on this shit? Is Danny Brown dropping a solo album this year? I don't know if he is. I think he just turned 40 too. Because he made 30, right? This bass is crazy. When the beat drops, it's so crazy. It's so subtle, but it goes hard. We got like a choir. Sounds like a fucking Christmas carol. Okay. We got like a free freestyle. His laugh is fucking awesome. Some Eminem shit, acapella. Him laughing, bro. That's that's great. There it is. That's that outro again. Someone let me know in the comments what that sample comes from at the end of the tracks. Like three of the tracks had it. I don't think one of them did. But wow. What an experience of a fucking track that was. That was interesting. It went from like a full-on bonafide song to Danny Brown just like freestyling and just rhyming shit. But um, I don't have a lot about to say about that song. I think we can just get to the outro and call it a video. So usually for my reviews, I go off the dome here. So yeah, literally right after I record the end of the album, I'm doing this now. This was a pretty solid EP. Um, it's not one of the best things that either artist has dropped, but there's still some pretty enjoyable tracks. I like the first track. I definitely like the third track. The second track, it's pretty good. You know, the instrumentation is nice. You know, two and four are more to show Peggy's production. One and three are more to show like their rapping. I don't know if they set the album up like that, but that's kind of what I'm getting from this album. Uh, or this is not even an album. It's an EP. It's, it's four tracks. It's a nice little project. Some Lucy's from the original Scaring the Hose record. And they actually had on their website like a vape uh, USB flash drive that had like these four songs on it. No other rappers like really rolling their albums like out like this. This is why I love JPEG Mafia and I love Danny Brown so much because they do their music so differently. And they don't give a fuck about the industry, you know? Like, I think I think that's great. Obviously, you want to do shit for money. There, there's nothing wrong with doing shit for money. We all have done it at some point in our lives, but to just appreciate the art and, you know, bring pop culture into every like into music and stuff. I think it's really cool what Peggy and Danny Brown have been able to do with their discographies over the last five to ten years. So, yeah, shout out to Peggy and Dan for giving us another good collaborative piece of music outside the Scary and the Hose original album. So, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I know I should probably talk about this album a little bit more in depth, but you kind of got that with the track by track you know when we played it i kind of gave you guys my thoughts at the end of the track so i'm just gonna leave it at that i'm out guys um big drops coming to music we have ken carson we have travis scott we have yeet um possibly future metro Boomin. um apparently cardi's supposed to drop his album uh later this year like by september i don't know if that's gonna happen we'll see um have a good day i'm out peace